opening match this week's band should be some great, great tag team action. The team of Michael Todd and Python being led to the ring by Frankie Capone of Fat Albert Hat. They're taking on the very popular Rasta man, the man who's been all around the globe that likely milk each and every time he's on TV here. And he's gonna be teaming up with your favorite IPW wrestler, Ron Nimi, Acropolis. Acropolis is by far not my favorite IPW wrestling superstar favorite gimmick guy. Oh, he must be taller than you too. But you bring up the Fat Albert gimmick. Did you see the Fat Albert Christmas special this year? I saw it and it was a very, very good time. I enjoyed it very much. As, as the commercial said, it wasn't ho, ho, ho. It was hey, hey, hey. And like my good friend Mushmo once said, you like summer's vacation? No, yeah. Actually, I thought we were going to use the Christmas vacation being the time of year that just passed by me, but that's okay. Okay. Now we see Gentleman Jim Bragg. Look, he did this the last time, and he couldn't referee the match. What are you going to do about all these, the corruption of the referees going on here in IPW, Ron Neamey? You've got Gentleman Jim Bragg, supposedly the big baby face referee of the whole crew, out there smoking the gimmicks with Rasta Man. I'm going to encourage it very greatly. And there's Frankie Capone, uptown Frankie Capone. It looks like he's going to hit the ganja with Rasta Man. And he sits there right in front of him, and he says, thank you, my friend. I think I'll take this blunt with my big funny hat, and I'll smoke of it. Oh, look at him. He's coughing it up. Oh, nice, nice by Frankie Capone, luring the big man in, Rasta man. He's a smart, smart wrestler, but it looks like sometimes that small funny can get to your head a little bit and you're not paying attention. And here comes a man from Guadalajara, Mexico, as Ron Nimi likes to call him. He's actually from Athens, Greece. He's Acropolis. Acropolis comes out. He wasn't prepared to wrestle on that night, but when Rasta man gets attacked, the man that took him under his wing at the Florida WrestlePlex, and he's in the back minding his own business, he's going to do what's right, and that's come out and hit a perfect Japanese arm drag. I guess this was supposed to be a singles match at first, but it did turn in to a tag team encounter. And Ron, I've been asked this many, many times. Let's see what's going on here first. Oh, a nice double team maneuver there. Oh, beautiful drop kick by Rasta Man. And this big man team of Michael Todd and Python kind of took a bit of a powder there. But as I was saying before that all started, Ron Nimi, actually, I can't even get this stuff in. When did we change tag team corners here on IPW TV? Back when the Rock and Roll Express Fantastics reunion match took place back in September. And no, we don't have the rights to show that on TV, but that was the time that we changed it. We also brought back the tag team rope things. That I was going to say, that must be where the tag team ropes came from. Robert Gibson was signing something to me, but I couldn't understand what he was saying. He was signing, Aaron, you horny bitch, I'm not into you one bit. Oh, man, that disappoints me. Anyways, but as I was saying before, people have been asking me this, and no, I do not believe that Michael Todd is the reincarnation of Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I think he is Zodiac's long-lost brother. Okay, or as they like to call him here sometimes in IPW, the man with no name. Where is Python's large-breasted friend that they call Coral? Last like a reef? Yes, exactly like a reef. Okay, uh, I'm not sure where she is. I'm disappointed that we have Frankie Capone instead of Coral coming out for this match. But I tell you, we've got enough silliness in so far, Ron Nimi. But one thing we haven't done is talk about where you can hear great IPW stuff.